Hello there, good afternoon. I'm Lucher FM bringing you episode 15 of the Fight Club Pro Save on TW 2020. Where you left us off last, we started the first few episodes of our new weekly TV show called Afterburn. Um, and we also, I'm also offline trying to tackle the reason why um, our match quality has gone down with certain wrestlers who are usually good, no longer good. So hopefully this episode we will figure that out and get back on track with the match quality. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute with the first show. Right, so here we are. Um, we are now, this is Afterburn, episode six of Afterburn. Uh, as always, we have a few backstage incidents, so let's just get through them. Um, Simon Grimm is being a jerk backstage. I'm just going to fire him because he never, he never wrestles, so he can bugger off. James Mason was being obnoxious and eventually beat up right, so we're just going to fire him. I'm having zero tolerance for idiots now. Um, TJ Wilson almost got in a fight with John Stavoli. Um, right, so I'm just going to fire him as well. There you go. Bret Hart's leaving anyway, so it doesn't matter if it upsets him. Right, absent workers, Sandal, De Niro, as usual, Grado. Um, Ivor Lee's is injured and Mike Bird is injured, so not too bad. Let's start the show. I'm going to start the show with a showcase singles match for Thomas Billington, um, who actually wrestled for AW in real life against Dax Harwood um, the other day and actually did really well. So Thomas Billington, um, I'm going to have him against, who shall I have him against? Jack Evans, I think. And then we'll do that. So I got told that the other day that 20 minutes is way too long. So I'm going to do 15 minutes from now on. Just leave it as normal, regular match. I'm going to have Thomas Billington on the mic, see what he's like. Microphone. Just do him as a just an angle um, on his own, just self promotion before the match. We're gonna have the tag team of Blue Kane and Shea Purser versus somebody. Blue Kane, who's now called Blue Pain in real life, so um, but I'm not gonna change it on here. He is always Blue Kane. He also uh, took his mask off the other day, which is a shame that he's had to. He's killed the gimmick already. Let's go with Destination Everywhere because they haven't wrestled for a while. There are 15 minutes. Blue Kane and Shea Purser as the winners. <clears throat> right, so next match we'll do a women's match. Oh, Sugar, I just thought it's Afterburn. We can't do too many matches. Um, 40 minutes. We've got another 15 minutes. And right, so we've got one more match in us, I think. So we're just doing 15 minutes matches now. We can actually have three matches each show, so which is good. So we'll have who is the current? I think Killer Kelly's still the champion, I think. But like Killer Kelly, who should we have a go against? I have um, got rid of a lot of wrestlers, by the way. So this is why the women's division is so small. Uh, we'll put Nicole Matthews in there because she hasn't wrestled yet. Um, I am on the lookout for other wrestlers to bring in, which will happen eventually. Right, so let's just double check. Um, yeah, so we're all good. Let's start the show. So um, Ginny helped Thomas Billington, got a 51 rating for the angle. This angle got the crowd better. Hotter, sorry. And then the match, about 57. Uh, Thomas Billington defeated Jack Evans. Thomas Billington got a 63. Jack Evans got a 37. Thomas Billington would usually get like a 70 something. So there's something up. Who was. Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't. Somebody told me if you look at the road agent notes. Oh, oh dirt sheet, not road agent. Um, ah, low morale. I need to. Um, what I need to do offline before the next show, I need to just get everybody's morale up. And that's probably why. Uh, penalised for a very low experience as well. I need to change the announce team. Um, yeah, thank you whoever pointed that out, by the way. I can't remember who it was now, but I apologise. But thank you for letting me know about checking the... It was somebody who commented on my on the YouTube video, and I can't remember his name, but you know who you are. Thank you for that. Right, so Kamikaze, defeat Destination Everywhere. Sorry, yeah, Destination Everywhere. Got 51 rating, and um, the weak links of the match were obviously Kamikaze because they're not, even though they're massive, they're not the best of wrestlers when it comes down to it. Blue K and Shea Purse are really off their game, didn't help. Let's have a look at what the dirt sheet said. Um, got a bonus for good momentum, right? So Blue K was penalized for being inexperienced, penalized for inconsistency, penalized for low morale, penalized for low rock locker room morale, penalized for being inexperienced. Or psychology. Oh, this is Shape versus, sorry. Um, I need to need to, I really do need to improve morale in the whole roster, which means it's gonna cost me an absolute fortune to 
can make them all happy. Or I'm just going to have to release a lot of wrestlers. Um, Killer Kelly defeating Nicole Matthews got a 56 rating, which ain't too bad. Well, uh, he's not there. So we got 102 people, which isn't too bad for an uh, afterburn show. It's probably the best we've done for an afterburn show so far. The show increased our popularity in one region. We got a 55 rating overall. Not too bad. Let's just check if there's any news items to come from this. And then when I come back, I will... I'll have some better road agents to start off with because I've managed to get um, Art Anderson and Ricky Steamboat in and a few others as well. So I will quickly go through them. I've managed to... Um, I'm going for some better announcers and colour commentators as well. So I will... But um, I only did that the day before this show. And uh, after that show... I managed to get some new people in. Uh, PCO, some of these will be road and some of these might be wrestlers as well. Um, Jim Duggan. So the, the, I, I basically look for better road agents and better colour commentators, colour commentators and announcers and also just trying to get some new women wrestlers in here as well. So we'll just complete them. And then um, we, can't, we didn't get Vipress. Oh, sorry. Um, DDT have dropped out the negotiation for Lycus, right? Um, 0.01, sorry, 0 0.01, I apologise. 2,176 viewers. Uh, we have got 15% prestige, 78% momentum, and the next show is in six days. By that point, hopefully, we'll have everything sorted. So I will be back with the next part of the show in a second. Right, so we're back for our next Afterburn show, and um, we have some... News. Basically, I got rid of a lot of wrestlers that um, were bad apples, boosted everybody's morale by bribing them with um, bonuses. So we're now £232,000 in the red. Yeah, so not good. And um, we've still we've got a backstage rating now of 80%, which is good. Every, so hopefully this show will be good. Um, we've got some backstage incidents. Um Kozlov was brought before the wrestlers court, accused the fan to pick up the share of the tab on the shared rental car. Dory Funk found guilty, sent him to pay the full cost and reimburse his travel partners. So that's not too bad. We can deal with that. Um, I'm going to try and basically meddle in a good way. So we've got Doug Williams and Brian Quinn, which is me, so obviously I can't do that. So we've got Killer Kelly. So we'll try Killer Kelly, Masha... There we go. Let's try and positively meddle. At the rest, this meddling had no effect at the time. Great. Uh, we'll try again. We're, I'm determined to get these people back on track. and So hopefully this show will be better. So let's try and make it as strong as possible. So what we're going to do to kick off the show is have Nathan Cruz versus Kenny Williams. Do 15 minutes. Just leave it blank. We'll do an angle with them uh, afterwards where Kenny can attack Nathan Cruz. Like so. So there you go. And then the next match will be a tag team match. Um, and then what we'll do is, there you go, like so. So we'll do, um, hmm, where are they? Do scum versus, um, let me think, pretty deadly. So do scum versus pretty deadly, 15 minutes. We'll have scum win. Oh, yeah, I forgot they're the tag team champions. And then what we'll do, we'll do an angle with them. Mark Andrews, microphone, Morgan Webster, microphone. Elton Print, microphone, Kit Wilson, microphone, like so. That's that. We'll just bump that just before their match. Um, we've got 20 minutes left, so we'll have the main event as a 20 minute match, and we'll do, do a three way singles. Uh, we'll have Trent Seven. Uh, let's see who he can wrestle. All right, so Matt Hardy. Yeah, because we signed Matt Hardy. Sorry, sometimes I forget to tell you things. We signed Matt Hardy, so we'll give him a debut in this match. Uh, who else do we put in here? We did the Trent Seven, Thomas Billington, I think. So we do 20 minutes, High Club Pro, heavyweight title, uh, Trent. There you go, like so. Um, 68 minutes, which we've gone slightly over. So we'll do, do 17 minutes instead. Um, let's get cracking. So uh, Kenny, went, there we go. We're back to normal, everyone. 81, that's what we wanted to see. So Kenny Williams and Nathan Cruz had an amazing match. Kenny Williams won with a submission. The match deserved better. Oh, I forgot to change my announcers and colour commentators. I'll have to do that afterwards. I'll do that after ne after this show. But yeah, let's just have a look. So a lot of good ones on here. So we'll just change that now. 
Angle afterwards got a 62, which is not bad. The angle with the two tag teams got a 55. Yeah, what's this? Mark Elton Chris. Uh, Elton Prince was terrible with no script, so we need to script him next time. The match got a 78, though, which is what we want to see. Uh, that's good. Um, Trent Seven retained his title, got a 74 rating. So um, Matt Hardy needs to... I need to go to the editor and change Matt Hardy because he's not that bad. He's not 45. He's a good ring general, if anything. He can put on decent matches. I know he's knackered now, but he's still put on a decent match. He doesn't deserve that. Uh, Thomas Billington, 82, though. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah, so that's um, Trent retaining the title. And then let's have a look at the show. We got 73, we got 101 people in. We didn't get any uh, popularity changes though. First time that's happened. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, there we go. We're back, everyone. Thank God for that. We just got to keep bloody paying people off to keep them happy. If anybody knows any other way I can keep morale up uh, with the limited amount of show time I've got uh, without having to keep paying them off, please let me know. I have reduced the, rust, uh, the roster a lot as well to stop that issue. Yeah, so just keep, let me know. Keep me in the loop. Would appreciate it. Right, here we go. So, uh, 0.01 uh, TV rain, 2,851 viewers, which I think is slightly up. Yeah, as I said, we are, we're now 283 in the red. But this is quite concerning. I unfortunately can't get an alliance loan. because It's not the type of alliance that you can do that. So it's quite worrying at the moment. Um, we need to get things back on track. I'm hoping that when we forward this a few more days and we start a new month, this will be less, but we'll see. And I'll be back in a minute with the next show. On to the next show. Um, we haven't got any backstage incidents, which makes a nice change. Ivy Lee is injured, so is Little Miss Roxy. Uh, Marina Shafir is out injured. My bird's still out injured. Uh, Shen Shenjiro to Gaji. Uh, Takaki uh, is working for DDT and Funaki is working for another promotion I cannot announce. So let's just see how it goes. Oh, by the way, after signing Matt Hardy, he decides to announce his retirement. So we've only got him for three months. Really frustrating. Right. First match we'll have to open the show will be a women's prep match. Um, we have a few new women's wrestlers, so we'll give one of them a debut. Ali, we'll give Ali a debut today. I love that. It's 15 minutes for the women's title we will leave it see who ends up winning it and uh, we'll do an angle with them for the show genie uh before the match and uh, microphone microphone like so uh, let's do that there all right next match we'll do is that team match and we'll do we won't do scum this time actually we'll do generation next this is pretty deadly 15 minutes leave it like that like so uh, we'll just do an angle with them afterwards where uh, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson will attack Matt Seidel, Jack Evans after the match. So that's the angles done for this week. Uh, this week's afterburn, so we can just contract matches now. Um, we've done 46 minutes, we've still got 20 minutes, 19 minutes left, so we can do a big, pay, big match now. So we'll do a four-way singles match. Um, what we're going to do is have Mark Andrews, Matt Hardy, Trent Seven. Uh, no, actually, we won't do Trent this time. Kenny Williams, Morgan Webster. Actually, no, we won't do Matt Hardy because Matt Hardy's not rated very well on here, and I, I forgot to change him on the end. We won't do Matt Hardy. Who will we have in there instead, though? Male, mm, male Phantasma, maybe? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, Thomas Billington. We'll put Thomas Billington in there. And we'll go 20 minutes. Leave it blank. 69 minutes. Oh, yeah. I always forget this. Forget to include entrance time. There we go. Right, we are good to go. So the women's angle got 59. G struggled to be off script. Uh, the triple threat match got 75. Ali got 66, which ain't too bad. Uh, Kelly Kelly 83. Ginny 85. So we probably at the Next event, we'll probably have Ginny versus Killer Kelly, and that should do really well. Got about 75 for that. The uh, tag team match got a 72. Um, Generation next one. The angle afterwards got a 43. And then the main event, 87. I don't think we've ever done a match that high. That's a new record, everyone. Wow. Uh, Jim Smallman's pretty weak. Oh, that's a shame. If we had a better announcing, better colour commentary, we could have had a better rate number. So Mark Andrews won that match. But that's a great main event increase our popularity in one region got a 78 rating got 104 people in good stuff we're back everybody we're back on track that's what i want to see uh financially we're not doing that good 
Uh, even, I was hoping when we started the new month that we would uh, be back okay, but we're not. We're still we're in the red by about just over two hundred grand. So um, we'll probably be. I'll have a quick look at the finances in a second. But yeah, it's not looking good financially. We are. We are. We are. Well, we're doing all right. It's just going to take us a while to get out of it. Um, we made like seventy grand, eighty grand, or something from last month. But we are getting more popular. So. We will make more money. We'll get better TV deals. Um, I might even actually add another one-hour show so um, to give some of the other wrestlers a run out as well. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Right, here we are. So uh, DDT has offered a developmental contract for Aaliyah James. AAA has offered a contract to Nathan Cruz. AAA has offered them a contract to Morgan Webster. AAA has offered a contract to Kenny Williams. All of our best wrestlers are going. Great. Uh, Michael Oku's had a, a contract offered as well. We've got 3,047 views, which is the most we've ever had. So that's good. Not good about these wrestlers getting taken away. We're 274 grand in debt. Ay, 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 it is not looking good. Uh, last month, we, because of all the money we had to spend keeping the wrestlers happy, yeah, it's not looking good. That's just 30 grand for the workers, production's 25, just not making enough money. I don't know what to do. Uh, anybody got any suggestions? Leave a comment, please. I would appreciate it. All right. All London has morale issues. So, I'll just give him some money. Go. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute with the next show. Right, we're back, and we have some very sad news, everybody. Um, we've lost Morgan Webster, we've lost Kenny Williams, we've lost Nathan Cruz, three of our best wrestlers. I mean, we've got Mark Andrews still yet at the moment, we've still got him, but it's really, really frustrating. Three of our three workers we can always guarantee to have a really good match uh, are no longer with us, so it, it has a very big void that we need to fill somehow. But we've got Afterburn now, so hopefully we can try and rectify that. Oh, bugger. Backstage incidents. Here we go. That's all right. Uh, Johnny Kidd's passing on his psychology to his protege, Blue Kane. That's fine. Right. So let's have singles match to start off with. Do a women's match with Jetta versus Hayley Lee Ray. About 15 minutes. Do an angle with them two on the mic for the match. Like so, there you go. That's just above there. Next match we'll do. Um, we've got a. We've got a find new tag team champions haven't we apparently they're still tag team champions so i think we've still got for now we've still got morgan webster might as well make the most of him and have him in this match here tag team nail there we go so we'll have scum they'll go against and we can't have new element because uh kenny williams is going as well and he I suppose we could start using fcu F F fsu Sorry, I apologise. We can start using them maybe in the tag team. Uh, what we'll do, though, is we'll have pretty deadly win the tag titles for now as, as a stop gap while we figure it out. Because of the fact that Morgan Webster's leaving us. Uh, Morgan Webster, you're going, so I don't really. Uh, let's just protect him in case we can get him back down the road. You know what? I'm not going to have them lose the tag titles. So we'll just get rid of that. And then what we'll do, we'll get rid of these. We'll just have them retain them. And then when he leaves, we'll just have them vacated. Um, we'll do an angle afterwards where Pretty Deadly can beat up the tag champ. Wilson fighting. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's a bit croaky here. Yeah. Uh, Mark Andrews. Selling, oh, Webster, selling. Right, so that's that done. And then what we'll do now is have a four-way singles match. There we go, four-way singles match. And we'll have, mm, let's have a think. We'll have Kid Lycos. Who else do we have in this? Maybe a kid. We'll see. I nice see Blue Kane now class as a major star. Maybe we could put Blue Kane in as much just to help him out a bit. Joseph Connors, we haven't seen him for a while, so put him in there. Kenny Williams, we can put in there. And then who are we going to try out that we haven't? We'll put now. We'll put Nathan Group. We'll just put the ones that we've got for now while we've still got them. There you go. 16 minutes done. Right then. Let's just check. All right, so we're all good, ready to go. Angle with Jetta and KD Ray got a 57. Um, the match got a 75, which is good to see. Kaylee Ray, Scum defeated pretty deadly, got an 86 rating, which is really good. It's, it's so annoying that, that Morgan Webster's leaving. He's such an asset. Him and Nathan Cruz are such, uh, and Kenny Williams are massive assets to the, to the roster. 
Uh, the angle after has got 61. We definitely need to get, get more, better tag teams coming in, I think. But yeah, the main event got an 83 as well, which is really good. Nathan Cruz won. Um, Joseph Connor's got an 83. Kid Lycos only got 79, which is a shame. 78 rating for the show. 102 people attended and improved the popularity in that region. So that's really good. But yeah, I'm really good about Nathan Cruz and Kenny Williams. I mean, Kenny Williams is our, was our champion for... A, a long, long time, our longest ever champion. He was a great champion, always produced every show. Um, he was a big part in how we become, how we got to where we are now. Uh, and Morgan Webster, as you can see, he just puts on banger after banger after banger, as Seamus says. Um, we've still got Mark Andrews now, but that, that's concerning me because somebody will probably sign Mark Andrews after a while. It's very hard to find these really good super workers. They don't, they don't come easy to find, but we just got to regroup. ECW in real life did it many times over and over again when they got their wrestlers stolen from them. Other companies like Ring of Honor have always done it, regrouped, found the new stars. We've just got to do the same. We've got Blue Kane, so that's all that matters to me. We'll have to just start pushing Blue Kane, I think. Have him as a single star. I don't really rate it. The tag team with him and, Sh him and Shea. Persa, I think they've come to a happy ending. I don't mean happy ending in a dirty way, you perverts. But um, yeah, uh, we'll just see how it goes. Right, Calvin, tag them to the pay increase so we're just giving him up oh Chardonnay and Nathan Cruz split up in real life that's a shame uh, Colt Cabana and Cliff Compton are no longer friends oh, Alex Shelley now, he wouldn't come to us before I don't think he's going to come to us this time I've got Chris Saban but for some reason Alex Shelley doesn't think we're big enough for him uh, we got 2,927 viewers for the last TV show that we did three 136,000 in the red. That's not good. I might have to do some tinkering with the editor, um, unfortunately, because I want to keep this save going. So I know it's a bit bit of cheating, but at the end of the day, I want this save to keep running. I don't want to go bankrupt. So what we're going to have to do is Fight Club Pro, and then we just swap this, get rid of this minus. All right, all right, there we go. I'm sorry, everyone. I know people like me to play. I wanted to play this game as truthful as possible, but we are losing a hell of a lot of money ridiculously quick. I shouldn't have. Um, it's my fault. I shouldn't have upped the production. I should have kept people happy. It's just one of them things. Uh, let's just see if there's anybody with no nobody low morale. Right, so we've got next afterburn show in six days. So. I'll uh, be back tomorrow with the next show. Yeah, thank you as always for uh, watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. I know the TW 2020 community is a small one, but you're very loyal and very supportive towards me, and I really appreciate it. So if you're watching the videos and you just haven't happened to subscribe yeah, can you do us a favor and just subscribe? It doesn't really um, affect you too much. So yeah, if you, I don't mind, if you don't mind, I would appreciate it. But thank you to the people who have subscribed and like in the videos and please leave a comment if you have anything to say about this save that i'm doing or the episode particularly but yeah much appreciate it and like i said i'll be back tomorrow with another episode all the best bye